After every noon sakina or tanween, if the letter ba follows, the noon sound must be changed to the sound of the letter mim. This is represented by a little mim on the top of the letter itself. The lips should not be entirely pressed together to allow for the mim to come through the nasal passage. The mouth should be prepared to say the ba after sounding through the mim. It should also be sounded for two counts. For example, we see there is a noon sakin followed by a ba. The little mim has been placed above the noon. If I am going to read these two words, it will read Faman badala. I changed the noon sound to a mim sound, coming through the nasal passage with my lips slightly open, holding it for two counts, ready to pronounce the next letter. Another example, I see a tanween followed by a ba. The word reads Abadan Bima. This is what it will look like in your Quran for easier reading. The correct way of reading it is Abadam Bima. I changed the noon sound to a mim sound coming through the nasal passage with my lips slightly open, holding it for two counts, ready to pronounce the next letter. Note, do not get mixed up between the full shaped mim drawn above the letters to indicate change and the cut mim to indicate a compulsory stop. Sadaqallah <laughs>